Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Junkyard Simulator. We are still on prologue number two, first car, and we are supposed to collect some items to renovate. $27,000 worth is our junkie quest. So we actually have to explore the map here a little bit. Some of you were talking about how it is kind of sad that we are destroying such beautiful cars, and I have to admit that is true. The cars that we destroyed last time, it's almost unforgivable to do that, but it's part of the game. So that's the reason why we're doing it. All right, we made it to this little turn here, and that looks like where we're supposed to go. That's what the arrow's kind of telling us. Hey, you need to come over here. That's okay. I'm just gonna jump out of the truck so I don't have to hear that horrible sound of the beeper. Okay, hit our tab button, uh, get our cue. It's kind of putting all that stuff away. And by the way, somebody said, hey, your engine's in the backpack. It is definitely not in the backpack. I don't know what happened to it. We need to collect some you must money be here. What this whole scrap market thing is about, right, Johnny? Yeah, we are. Oh, please, he's not going to say he he is. He sell raw materials at different he prices will. depending on the exchange rate. Keep an eye on exchange rates and sell your junk at the highest price. Okay, we can do that. Well, let's get to finding some junk to throw away, shall we? Can we just pick up anything, or we have to get certain items? I'm assuming that that is the case, but we have to put them into this little box thing here and do a whole to do with it. You have an opening and closing of that. You throw the junk in there and then it's going to uh, help us all there. We can add it to our stock. So we need to go out and find some junk. It shouldn't be too hard, you know, you know, since this is junkyard simulator. We can come up to scrap heaps and search the scrap heap. I'm gonna hit E on that. And here's a bunch of junk we just found. Look at that. Next scrap heap in uh, 29. So we need our pick em up truck. We throw all this stuff in the back of the pick em up truck and then throw it into here. That's what we're gonna do. Open sesame! I'm gonna grab this stuff, throw it in there. We'll see just how much money we're gonna raise here. We need to collect $27,000 is what we need to do. I hope you guys had a great weekend and your week is off to a great start. I am back in town from St. Louis. Went to a wedding up there and uh, visited some family and things like that. But back in action here and resuming our normal upload schedule. So there's some some stuff in there. And then it looks like these are going to randomly show back up after X amount of time. So you can only, you know, search scrap heaps for that 28, legitimately 28 minutes. So you can't just go crazy on it. You can look through this one, though. What do we got over here? We got something worthless. Cardboard, $6 a scrap. That ain't going to bring us anything, man. Drum player, throw that in there. There we go. Anything else here? We had that little stupid thing, but we had this over here. The cardboard box is not going to bring us anything. And you can see it is starting to tell us how much weight we have in there, actually. I lost that little thing. Where did it go? Now we have this truck here, or we have our pickup truck. And I'm going to go with the pickup truck. Well, actually, no, we're going to go with this thing because I want to be able to throw a bunch of stuff in the back of it. And we couldn't with the other one, so it makes sense to use this. Yep, this is a whole mess over here on the left, and that's a scrap heap right there. I want to see if I can actually throw stuff in the back of here, but I might have to come back here and open this up. It is Okay, I see. The box truck goes in there. So that's what you have to do, and that makes sense. So we come over here, grab some stuff, say we want this thing, and we can just throw it in the back of the actual truck like that and we should be good to go. Now, hopefully this stuff doesn't get lost into the ether like last time we lost an engine doing this. I really hope it doesn't do it this time, but we are going to find out soon enough. Nothing there. Bunch of junk just over here, but man, look at these old cars. I love them. What the hell is that sound? What? What was that? Here's a chainsaw, nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. We can add it to the backpack and then we can move the stuff in the backpack to there so we don't have to do that. I think that's what we're supposed to do. That would make a little sense, but hey, you know what? Nothing wrong with a little bit of realism in our step. What do you say? Bunch of junked cars here. We can take those in, which is really nice. Here's the back end of a car here. Uh, any junk we can take here? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna keep searching this. Oh, here's something here. Got a ventilation. Whatever ventilation is, that's what it is. And I wonder if we can just chuck this thing like crazy. Can we? I mean, pretty decently, actually. <laughs> throw that over there. Throw the oil pan over there as well. There we go. Now we're now we're talking. Let's throw this crap in the back of the truck. Why not? You go back there too, okay? 
I think that was everything. I'll check the back. No, I think there's some more stuff over here. Yep, a cordless drill. And that is a big cordless drill, by the way. That's pretty massive. Anything over here that can be can go as well? Uh, yep. Tractors, oil pan, or whatever that is. Yep, oil pan. Uh, nothing over here, I don't believe. What's this stuff? Nope. Rearview mirror. Yes. Oh, there's other stuff. All right, cool. We're just collecting a bunch of junk here today. Let's see if we can add this stuff to our backpack and make things a little easier for ourselves as far as carrying goes. All right, and we'll bring this over to the truck and then pull it out. Let's throw all this stuff on the ground from the backpack. That worked fine. I didn't lose anything. Throw that in there. Oh, careful. Careful now. You go in there. Uh, you go there, and you go there. Okay, well, that's a lot of crap. Let's take that back to the exchange and see what happens. And check it out. We have a bunch of junk in the back of the truck now. Before that was completely empty, and now they have just random stuff thrown in there. Whatever you're Man, that backup beeper sounds got to go. It worked. It worked. We didn't lose anything. Woohoo! Okay, what about you? You, 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 and you. Beautiful. I think we just ran into something before that was not supposed to happen, and it just kind of screwed us doing that. Throw that in there. Throw it on in there, buddy. There we go. All right, now, now we're talking. Now we're making some money. Now we feel like we're actually doing some work here. Let's see how uh, how this works and add it to our stock. There it goes. After sending the raw materials to the scrap market, you can wait until they reach a favorable exchange rate. Do okay. yourself a favor and don't sell anything for cheap. Take it as a piece of advice from an old friend. <laughs> okay. There was the... <laughs> and the exchange popped open here. Raw Materials Marketplace app. The phone will inform you which raw materials are currently worth selling. And here is everything. We can sell, sell, sell. I mean, they just want us to make money now, so... We're going to go ahead and do it. We're not going to wait. We're going to do exactly what they told us to not do. We made absolutely nothing off that haul, by the way. Like, absolutely nothing. Looks like some decent stuff over here. My God, dude, we just got hit in the head by a pipe bracket. That wasn't cool at all, man. Oh, here's an engine. A tank engine block. Yes! Oh, that's going to go for some money. I have a feeling that will go for some money. It turns out, you see where it says the word scrap? Well, that means we can only scrap it. So we can only renovate things that allow renovation. So let's just pull this stuff out onto the ground here. Here's renovation. So the engine block can be renovated. That is actually pretty cool. Brush, brush, brush away all of the old rust on this thing. We're... Slowly getting there. Backside, there we go. And now we need to get the old sandblaster out, which is fine by me because I do like the sandblaster. That's actually pretty fun to do. Grab that guy and start blasting away. Let's make this thing look beautiful again. All right, that's all done. Now we just get the, the paint sprayer over here and make it look nice. Nice and brand new, even though it's, you know, an old piece of junk. So as you can see, that exchange is changing constantly, man. Absolutely constantly. So you do have to wait. And that's what they wanted us to do. But I got impatient and was like, you know what? Sell it all. And you as well. Okay. Mike wants this thing, it looks like. And it's approved. Let's do it. Made some money off of that one for sure. That was worth it. I'd like to renovate this here lamp. So let's go ahead and do that one next. Come here, Mr. Lamp. I'll make you look nice and pretty. Get the old cloth out here. We're going to do the old squeak, 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 squeak. There you go. And get that little spot there. Time for the grinder. Grind it up. We'll put it back where it was. There we go. Yes, this thing is actually a lot of fun to use. I like it. It's got an interesting sound to it, though. You can just kind of go around in a circle here and boom, look at that. That was actually pretty simple. Instead of actually, you know, trying to crouch and stuff, you don't really need to do that. As long as you're hitting the little spots, they're happy with you. Oh, this is going to take a minute. All right. Looks like Boris wants this. What do you want? 351 bucks for it? Okay. Cool. Well, we're slowly making more money, but we need to get to $27,000 by doing item renovations. So we're not supposed to be doing so much with the exchange right now as the junkie quest is to do the item renovation. So the money is in the engine. So let's do more with the engines. We'll scrap all this stuff, no problem. And we'll get back out there. Yeah, we might get something decent for that tank engine. We'll see if that's the case. Open this up. Start chucking stuff in there. So we can make some money off of all this nonsense. There we go. You will bring some money for me, I have a feeling. There we go. Not bad. Throw you in here. And the exchange is actually looking pretty good. 
the last thing had popped up. So we'll see if that helps us. That would be nice. Throw that in there. And what we got over here? The, the van door. Don't need that thing like at all. That goes in there. Oh. <laughs> see what happens? Like I, I lose things very easily because of that. There we go. Throw that in there. Oh, the exchange rate's changing on everything now. That's right. Go and close it up. We're at 201. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and add it to our stock. Oh, there's an old wooden chair here we forgot about. We can't forget about the wooden country chair. That would be absolutely terrible if we did that. So let's throw that in there. We'll come back. We'll get some more stuff and throw it in there as well. Let's search our little scrap heaps here. See if there's anything worth anything. Antelope's left door. No, no. That's a bunch of junk. And over here, that looks like there might be an engine here. Sometimes it's a little deceiving, but oh, oh, we can scrap another tank engine block. But man, that thing's worth some money. So we are definitely going to throw that in there. Throw that down there. No big deal. <laughs> Let it get uh, tossed about. Not a, not a problem at all. An electric box we can renovate, but we want the real money and the real money we know. Oh, that's for painting. That's cool. Do a whole rear bumper paint for a tour. But I want the engines, because that's where the money is, man. Open up that guy. All when right. You search a car, and there's lots of scrap. Use your cart and your backpack, then head to the scrap market. Okay. I mean, I understand that. We're searching in here, I guess. Oh, old car pump. That's cool. So you can find more stuff in the back of these. That's pretty neat. There's a shock absorber there. And those will go for a decent price there. Uh, train, chainsaw, we've already had that before. Uh, no engines here so far. Now, these cars, you know, whenever you're moving them, sometimes they have an engine in them. Oh, there's a little battery in there. That's cool. But you can search the cars. That's something that you couldn't do before. This thing has an engine in it, and we can make some money off that thing. So we need to go back, get the tow truck, and start towing some cars. That's what we need to do. But we're going to go ahead and get some more of this scrap crap, throw it in the back of this truck, take it back over there to the exchange. Since we're here, we might as well. Well, there's our haul from all this crap. Throw this in the back here. And same with all this stuff. That one actually can be renovated, which is actually kind of cool, but we'll uh, throw that in there. We don't want to scrap things that we'll renovate. So there we go. We're going to go get the tow truck and get that now. Oh, time to sell. Time to sell. What do we got here? Uh, let's go to the scrap market. We have, yep, value's up. Everything was in the green on that one. So I'm like, you know what? It's time to sell. We'll do it now. We are at 18,878. So we're getting there ever so slightly. All right, gonna take you and we will take the vehicle. Yes, please. Oh, did you not select you? There we go, select you and take the vehicle. Okay, we got that one. We have to go down the road and pick the other one up. And then we're gonna pull those engines with that cherry picker. Use some finesse here to try to get this thing without smashing into everything. There we go, a little closer perhaps. They have to be kind of like right on top of it like that. Maybe they'll be happy with that. I don't know. We'll find out. We want to select you. Yes, we do. And we want to take the vehicle for sure. Right there. Boom. We got two of them. We know they have engines in them. Let's take them back and pull them. All right, let's pull the cars off of here. Remember, that has to be green. Get out. And then we go over to the manager. And we're going to pull those cars over here. So let's do the unloading management. Broken car with engine. That's what we want. Two spaces there. This one here is going to go to that empty space. I'm going to pull that engine first, and then we will get the other one. That works for me. Actually, that hood can go bye-bye. There we go. And we need to pull you on up. There we go. I want that engine. I want it real bad. Perfect. Grab you, and look at that. We can put you actually in my backpack. We'll do that. Now we'll move that car back in that position there, and we're going to grab the other one out. Now it's all starting to make some sense now, isn't it? Just a little bit. There we go. Yep. Pull you with this. And we're going to have two engines to renovate. Wonderful. We need to start using all of our vehicles instead of, you know, me running around everywhere, especially with a stupid cart. You just drive the truck up here to the renovation spot and so on and so forth. And check it out. There's our two V6 engines with a huge blower on them. We'll put you right over here and get to work. We know we know the we know the grind now. All right, one down, one to go. There we go. Yeah, we're we're making a lot of money off these things. This is where the money's at, right? Right here. All right, I think we're almost done. Yep. Okay, Boris. Boris wants one four six. All right, sweet. 
There's where the money is, man. I'm telling you, that is it. Okay, well, we're going to continue to uh, do that. That's that's what I want. So now we can just search the scrap piles. And if we're lucky, we'll get one that has an engine in it because we have come across those before. And that would be amazing. So let's check this one right here first. I know I left this crap that was over here from last time. But that's all right. We'll just keep searching until we get something decent. Oh, like that. There's something right there. An engine block renovation. That's what I'm talking about right there. Throw that in the back of there. And we'll go check another one down here. If we can get two more engines, we might be done. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Oh, big money is right. An old V8 engine in that one. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. We'll go check up there. Just to make sure you know we can have three engines, that would be amazing. And since we're here, we might as well check. I haven't gone over the hill there. And we can't go through that just yet because we're still in the prologue of the game. Nothing really happening there but some scraps. So we got lucky with those two engines. I think that's all we need, honestly. Yes, yeah, that's all blocked off. We can't go to, into that yet. We will be able to eventually. We'll check these scrap heaps for any engines. That looks like something there. Uh, that's the rear bumper to, to paint, so nothing there. Let's check over here. I love that old police car sitting there, that, that challenger, or that's the charger, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, another one. That's two V8s. That is what I am talking about right there, and that goes in the back of there. Yeah, look at that old one. That's cool. All right, well, three big engines there. This is going to easily get us to where we need to go. Back rolling up, Bob. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Right. Oh, oh, oh. That's perfect. Pop out of here. And now we can get everything out of the back of here, these three engines, and move these where they need to go, which is over here into the renovation spot. Uh, it's not letting me pick those up. That, well, that's not good. Because they're right next to each other, maybe that's why? Oh, there we go. That moved. See if I can knock those over. There we go. That might might help us out just a little bit there. Throw you on there and get to work, Jeff. I'm working along here, and you know what? We haven't saved the game in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game because I do not... I don't mind doing that. Yep, overwrite it, or maybe we have to do this. We'll just call it Jeff 2 just in case we lose everything and we lose power or something because that would be terrible, you know? That would be absolutely terrible. All right, Sandblaster, 90% on that. We're getting there. By the way, bravo for letting us save our game in a demo that is actually really cool you normally don't get that that should do it right there let's see how much this thing goes for. 2541 <laughs> okay the v8s bring some money in and i figured that was going to be the case i mean it tells you right there what you could get for it but it's worth renovating these things it really is here's a little tip for all of you oh we need to sell 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 things are in the green that is worth it. There we go. Get our money out of all of that. We did it. You completed the junkyard prologue. We did it by, you know, by renovating the engines, but on top of that, selling our scrap at the right time. All right, folks, that is going to do it for this episode of Junkyard Simulator. We finished the prologue, so there's a lot left in the game, as we saw from the very beginning, and we have to wait for the full game to come out. And once it does, we will definitely be playing it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.